So you guys, I am super pumped. Okay, I figured it out actually, Justice. When you hover over at the top, it kind of pulls it down. So if you take your mouse and pour it, push it to the very top of your computer screen, it'll actually, when you're in full screen mode, it'll push down the Q&A section for us. Hey, where um, you can still see the comments? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and so, then you so open up the Q&A and then the Q&A box kind of comes over like your screen and then you can close it out. So you have it open right now because I can't yeah. see it. Yeah, I know. Cause oh, cool. It show it. Yeah. All right. Okay, awesome. Perfect. Cool, you guys. Thank you for being patient while we figure this technology out. We don't let technology hold us down, do we? I know. I know. Okay, so I'm super pumped to be with y'all. I am excited because I have one of my besties out training with us. So here's what we're going to do. We're on Zoom, and you guys, hopefully you have undivided attention that you are going to dedicate with us because, you know, um, I don't bring a lot of guest trainers out, and there's a reason for that. I don't think a lot of people yet are worthy for my people, right? They gotta be good if they're gonna come out and train you guys. So if we're meeting each other for the very first time, maybe because somebody has shared this training with you or maybe we've been together before, um, you know, nice to have you here. Thank you for your time. My name's Tanya Liza. Um, I help entrepreneurs and network marketers create success fast while most importantly designing a lifestyle that you love. Um, got a lot of really good things going on in the world of business in my own, in my own world. And then anything that is working in the trenches, like while I'm in the trenches with you guys, I still build in network marketing, which I think a lot of people love because they can respect that I'm actually training while doing something that I'm training on, which is kind of cool. Um, but anything that's working with me and my business, I will share with you guys. All right. Now I'll give you a little background, like a two second, I'm going to say two minutes background on who justice is. If you don't know who justice is, cause he's going to be our main trainer tonight. And I want him to come out here and train you guys because he has helped my business in such a big way. And I think that the ripple effect needs to kind of move over to you guys. And you guys may or may not know, I hold a very small, elite, higher end mastermind every single year. This year we had it in May. And um, I only have asked one person out of all the great, amazing contacts that I know out in our world, I really only asked one person to come out and ever train my audience at the mastermind because when people pay for my time, I want them to get my time. But there are things that justice can train and do that I cannot do even do it justice. <laughs> uh, uh -huh. No pun intended, right? <laughs> so, I mean, the, the thing that justice is really good at, guys, and here's how he's helped me and here's how he's going to help you guys tonight, is justice is really good at taking somebody from, you know, a stranger, like a complete cold market prospect, talking to them in a way that they take action with you, understanding human psychology, understanding copywriting, understanding what to post on social media. So when you guys see my face, if you guys have seen my Facebook ads or my Instagram ads, or even a lot of my promotional posts that I do on Facebook, they're a, a byproduct of what I learned from justice because He's just really good at breaking down a formula to help you convert your fans and followers or cold market prospects on social media with your posts and stuff into dollars, into business and best friends. And so I've known Justice for about four years now. We hang out all the time. I was just at his place in Austin, Texas. He was giving me the background on this training that we're doing for you guys tonight. And I'm just really excited to have him come out and bless you guys with his training and his knowledge as well. Um, because I think if you take notes and you take what he says seriously, you take it to heart and then you take it into action, you can start having results 
tonight or tomorrow in, inside of your business. So here's the thing. We're on Zoom, okay? We're going to have a conversation. Like Justice said, it's really interactive. I like to interact with you guys. This is a live broadcast. We are here. I'm going to be um, manning the Q&A section. Now, there's two sections in Zoom that some people get confused with. There's like a chat feature, and then there's like the Q&A box, okay? Try your best to keep it organized inside the Q&A box because that's where I'm going to look mainly I'm not going to be, we've, we've disabled chat so it doesn't distract everybody here, but I will be taking, um, we will be doing Q and A and I will be, we will, justice will be asking you questions and stuff. So use that Q and A box to communicate with us if that's cool. Um, so justice, without further ado, I want you to show us your three secrets tonight that will help these guys transform their social media following into raving fans and customers for their business. Are we on track to do that? Are you pumped? We are totally on track. I am totally pumped. Thank you so much for that amazing introduction. I really need to take Tanya with me everywhere I go. Uh, I don't know if there's anybody out there that speaks so wonderfully about me. I'm so appreciative of it. Um, I, you Honestly, you mean the world to me. Uh, like I, like you, have, you have set, uh, has she not blazed the trail for you guys? I mean, does she not show you what is possible? and run an absolutely amazing business. I mean, it's such an inspiration. I've learned so much, and I'm just honored to be out here. I cannot wait to share this with your people. I'm pumped to have you, Justice. And so I'm Insta-storying this right now to get some more people on, so I'm so excited. Okay, cool. let's do cool. this. Cool. All right, so I'm gonna screen share. I'm gonna try this again. Uh, yeah. Do you want to I'm gonna continue? stop sharing mine, and you're gonna start sharing yours, yeah. Okay, we're gonna go to my desktop here. And you should see a slide that says today's training. Yeah. Can you guys go over in the Q&A section and, say, and tell me that you can see this slide and that, that you don't see the Q&A box? Because I can see the Q&A box, but I can deal with that, right? That's the way I want it. Yes, yes, awesome. yes, um, yes, yes. All cool, good. Paul, Jane, Lisa, Joe, uh, but no Q&A box, that's perfect. Uh, can't see it, don't see it, awesome. Really? Melissa, wonderful, Janice, great. All right, listen, seriously, guys, I have got some training ahead here, so we are going to dive in. Uh, you are going to have to forgive me if we go a little longer than the standard webinar, because when I come out here and I say I want to share something, I say I want to help you see things in a new light, uh, my goal is to make that happen, right? And I really don't want to stop until we make it happen. Tonight's training is how to predictably transform ordinary social media followers into a perpetual stream of customers and teammates in just three easy steps. Now, everybody on here has got ordinary social media followers, and everybody on here wants more customers and teammates, and if that could happen perpetually, even better, right? Well, I just wanna ask you a couple of questions. I'm curious, and go on down in that questions, guys, because I am or in the Q&A, because I am going to, I'm going to, this is going to be a conversation, and I want you to be a part of it. How would it feel if you were so confident in what you did each day because you knew a thousand percent it was fill your inbox with commission notifications, maybe new qualified requests from people who wanted to buy from and join you. What would it feel like to get up and have that confidence that you knew the plan you were working was going to provide that for you? What would it feel like if you got to prove all the doubters wrong? Maybe you want to proudly show your loved ones that it's a hundred percent possible to call your own shots in life. How many of you want to set that example for the people that are important to you in your life? liberating. I say it would change my life. Chris says, awesome. It would feel awesome. What if you could do it all without ever again having to actively pursue sales or waste time with tire kickers and time wasters and people who give you the runaround? What would that be worth to you in your business? What kind of value? I mean, what would that do? What would it be worth to you? Well, I want to prove something to you here and I really want to open your mind because I want you to understand that what I'm going to share with you not only can do that, but it can do it no matter what it is that you sell or promote. Because over the years, what I sell and promote has changed. The way I sell or promote it has not. Up in the top left here, I've got people texting me, total strangers texting me about my network marketing business saying, hey, look, I wanna, I wanna see what it's all about. I wanna set up an appointment with you. Please, Justice, please set some time aside for me so we can talk about this thing. I love it, right? Total strangers. Then in the middle, I've since, you know, I've started to really build a big training business. I love training people on how this stuff works. 
and I have an amazing course. One of them, you know, some of the, um, you know, stuff that Tanya was talking about was from a course of mine called Social Testimonial Profits. And you'll see notifications of automated sales coming in each and every day. You know, and, and these are strangers. These are not people I'm closing on the phone. And then over the right here, if any of you um, want your own clients or you want people to apply to work with you in your business so that you only have the cream of the crop, or maybe you want coaching clients, whatever it is, does not matter. You'll see applications, people actually applying, right, to, to try and qualify for my time. So again, it does not matter what you promote. The how you promote it stays the same. The what you promote is insignificant. And I will, you'll, you'll see that very clearly before the end of tonight's presentation. Now, if you've ever struggled to get the internet producing leads, sales, signups in your business, and it keeps feeling like you're missing something to get the results you desire, I get it. I don't know if anybody gets it more than I do. I really, really do. See, I got introduced to network marketing as a broke waiter with zero confidence. I had lost a job. Um, I went back to waiting tables. I mean, I was literally at the felt. I had no money. And here I was in my early 30s waiting tables. I had this story getting knocking around in my head that said, I'm a waiter. Why would anybody listen to me about business? Okay, I just could not get that mantra out of my head. Who would listen to me? I mean, I go to work every day and, uh, you know, and I, and I, somebody says there's a small box on the right side. I don't, I'm not sure, don't know what, what uh, so I mean, I go to work every day and, and I think, man, I'm in my early 30s. What, am I, what do I got going on, right? Like, like why would someone want to know about business from me? I was told over and over again by the people around me that I had to keep pursuing those people to grow my business. I had to go to the memory jogger, you know, I had to just go circle back around in my warm market, um, you know, keep talking to people that I came in contact with. And not only was it not really working for me, but I just didn't love it, right? And, and I had this idea that I, I, even though I had no confidence at the time, I wanted to build a business that I loved. The result of like this challenge was that I made just $98 in my first 10 months. And it was a pity sale. Someone handed it to me. I mean, I had nothing going in business. Now, I'm just curious, how many of you feel just a little bit better about your results right now, knowing that a person, the Tanya, would be kind enough to put on the other side of the microphone to teach you, right, actually made $98 in his first 10 months in business? Any of you just take a deep breath, get a little weight, you know, lift it off your shoulders and said, hey, wait a second. You know, I'm off to an okay starter. I don't have to feel so bad, right? There's still hope for me, right? If there was hope for justice, <laughs> there's hope for me. Well, here's what happened. I had an injury that took me out of work. And I found myself with a terrible back injury, and I'm a waiter, so how are you going to wait tables with a terrible back injury? I thought I was going to have to get surgery. Um, I thought I was going to go bankrupt. And I was sitting up at my father's house, stuck in a chair, walker by my side, and I just reflected on, you know, where I was at. And, you know, the fact that, you know what, I have, a, guys, I have to run real, two seconds. I actually have boiling water on the stove that I forgot about, it, and I can hear it boiling down to nothing. So before we're getting sprayed with water and the fire alarm goes off, let me just take it off the uh, burner. It'll take two seconds. That's actually really hilarious because I did that today. I did the exact same thing today. <laughs> I started boiling water for coffee, and I was like, oh, I hear something in the kitchen. It's when we get so focused in working and what right? we're doing. I know. <laughs> right? Unbelievable. Good. So no fire hazards. We took care of all the fire hazards uh, that I know of and we're back in action. So there I was, guys. I was sitting up in my father's house reflecting on my life. Not too thrilled about where things were at. I reflected on my business. Wasn't thrilled with where that was at. And I said, you know, Justice, you, you got to make something happen here. You've got to build this business. So I opened up a borrowed computer. I wasn't real tech savvy. I was not an adopter of technology by any means. Probably a resistor. And uh, I started searching for answers and I landed on a webinar or on a training much like what you're on tonight. And the, somebody on there opened my mind to what was possible, showed me what was possible if I got out there and started executing a certain set of actions. And man, something snapped inside me and I said, I, I, I might be crazy, but I'm going to do this. And I'm a big believer that the universe tests you in a lot of amazing ways. And, and when you, I'm telling you, when you are pushing towards something, when you make a commitment, when you dive into something, when you take action, like, and you're up against it, you're going into new territory, you're going to get tested. And I, man, my phone rang the next day and I got an offer from a gentleman I'd been interviewing with for six months and he offered me my dream job. He buckled on my salary. He was going to give me paid vacation, benefits. I was going to have possible restaurant ownership with him down the road. 
but something inside me had shifted. And I, I sat there and I said, you know what? If I say yes, I could find myself back in this chair five years later, having spent that time building someone else's dream. And I don't know how I got up the courage, but I called him up and I said, you know what? Hi, Tom, this is Justice. I said, I'm sorry, but I'm just not the same person you interviewed and you need to give that job to someone else. And I jumped. And I always say, that was the day I started my business. Not when, not when I got my kit, not when I made my first $98, but that day, the day I burned the bridges behind me. Since then, and since what I've learned on the internet, I've gone on to become a top 10 producer all time in one company out of over 100,000 people, won multiple marketing awards, been invited to speak and train at major industry events. Um, you, might, either, you might might recognize as someone sitting on that panel down there, on that experts panel on the bottom left. Um, I've generated over 50,000 leads online. I recruited as many as 11 people to my network marketing business in a single day. Personally recruited over 1,000 people in the different network marketing and affiliate marketing programs. In March 2017, I had my first ever $100,000 a month in business. So you can see up here, you know, 11 people. This was a program, an affiliate program. I was putting 40, 50, 60 people in a month sometimes, uh, you know, $100,000 a month in business. And like I've said, over the years, what I've, what I've sold has changed. The way I sell it does not. And my life now is fundamentally different. You see, things that were not on my radar when I was a waiter that I didn't even think, I had this kind of story rattling around that stuff like that isn't for someone like me. Like, I'm not cut out. I'm just, travel isn't in the cards for me. Time with the family isn't in the cards for me. You know, doing these things isn't in the cards for me. And, and what I found later was that anything is possible. And, uh, you know, I've, I've had some amazing experiences. You see zip lining with my bud Ray Higdon, tasting tequila in Mexico, my bud Adam Chandler, staying at the Waldorf Astoria, um, you know, out to breakfast. You see, you see our favorite uh, Tanya over there and Caesar, you know, out to breakfast in Cabo. Uh, you know, I'm with my girlfriend down and go taking a cruise down the center picture there. I mean, just such amazing experiences. Uh, and what really happened was, is I just remember, I, I remember looking at from the outside in the home business industry gave me a little light. And I said, maybe, maybe I can travel a weekend or a week. And when I got into the business, I said, maybe if I, if I work and develop skills, I can win one of those vacations. And I did. I won recruiting vacations. I won sales contest vacations. And then last year, for the first time ever, I was the one giving away the vacation. And I got to take, a, take some of my friends, and Tanya uh, was on this trip to Greece, to sail the Greek islands. You can see it, to, that, that catamaran up in the top right. And I don't, you know, it was just such an unbelievable experience. And, and I don't share this with you guys so that, so that you can find yourself in a place of envy or so that, you know, you can compare or play comparitis. What, what I sh why I share this with you is because I want you to understand that I was sitting in a chair uh, arguably uh, as hopeless as I had ever been. And somebody shared some concepts with me that started, that, that tipped one domino and started, started a, a ripple effect in my life that created new possibilities, things that I didn't even ex know existed. And so if I do that for someone tonight, I've done my job. And this is the big question, the big question that I want all of you to think about because this is what we're gonna answer. And behind this question lies the answer to so much. Why would professionals all of a sudden, right, start joining a broke waiter, start buying from and joining a broke waiter with, with no experience, no business background, no results? How does that happen? I mean, why, I hear everybody say, well, as soon as I have results, I'll go do this. Well, they won't listen to me because of this, or I don't have, you know, I don't have this knowledge yet. So here's why I can't this. Why would professionals, anyone want to know the answer, guys? Go down and, and, and let me know in the Q&A. Well, it's the Q&A one we want to be in, right? Go down and, and give me a yes if you'd love to know the answer to that. Why all of a sudden professionals? I mean, these are people who had their life together. I couldn't pay my bills. <laughs> I see Lisa says yes. Paul says yes. Deb says yes. Uh, Jennifer says yes. Brittany says yes. By the end of this training, you will have the answer and it will fundamentally change the way you look at business. Now, here's what you're gonna to learn tonight. And this is how we're going to arrive at that answer. I'm gonna share with you a foolproof for formula rooted in behavioral science that can ethically turn you into a sought after online authority, even if you're brand new. And this was a major part of me getting busy professionals buying from me. 
Secret number two is you're going to discover the secret to transforming your product, service, or opportunity into an irresistible next step for the highest quality social media prospects. And that's regardless of what you sell or promote. Now, lastly, I'm going to show you how top producers eliminate confusion, internet overwhelm, technical hangups, and generate tons more excited customer teammates in way less time. This is where we solve the problem for busy part-timers and technically challenged people. Internet marketing does not have to be hard. Okay, the way you're gonna learn it is we're gonna take snippets out of my new course called the Irresistible Enrollment Equation. Now I wanna ask something of the group. I wanna ask your permission and I told you that I might go a little long tonight um, because I want to open your eyes and show you the formula that helped, that had busy professionals joining a broke waiter. If I deliver on those three secrets and I do for you everything that I've set out and promised, I'm pretty confident that there are going to be some people to feel a little unsatisfied and say, you know what, Justice, like I see it and I want to go deeper on this subject. If I share with you, if I deliver on my end and I give you a value packed understanding with actionable steps of how to get this going in your business, will you give me permission to open a door just for those who want to continue learning on this topic? Go down in the comments and let me know because I certainly, um, I certainly value your time. I value Tanya's, uh, you know, the, the opportunity that Tanya asked me to come out here and share with you guys. Uh, permission, yes. Uh, James says yes. Paul says door open. Karen says yes. Sherry says yes. Patricia says yes. Certainly, sure, cool. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So you're probably asking the question, does what I teach work? Well, Jim went from uh, really struggling to generating over 1,400 leads and having commissions come in every single pay period. Julie went from having success offline. She said, I didn't get the internet thing. Immediately after working with Justice, Justice I was pulling in 10 to 20 leads a day. So I want you to understand that this information I'm going to share with you is valuable. It's insanely valuable. And what I encourage you to do is to shut down distractions, to get out a notebook, and I want you to literally see yourself in the business of your, the, your future. Because what's going to happen, it's undeniably going to happen, it happens to me every single day, is when something's happening out in front of me, this little voice comes into my head, it starts to evaluate, it says, well, Justice, maybe that wouldn't work for you, or maybe you're not cut out for this, or maybe here's why you shouldn't, or maybe this, or maybe that. And that voice is going to come up, it's going to show up, it, it shows up for me, it's going to show up for you. I want you to entertain the idea that when we listen to that voice, we get the same things we've got, okay? When that voice drives our decisions, we get the same kind of outcomes we already get. So what I'd encourage for you tonight is to see yourself into a new rank, see yourself having leads come in, see yourself having the type of business you want, which is why you're on here in the first place. And when that little voice pops in that tells you why you can't have it or why maybe you're not good enough or why you don't know enough yet, I want you to just ignore it. I have to ignore it every day. Tanya has to ignore it every day, right? And if you want new things, that's going to be the key to making it happen. So can you guys commit to that? Can you go down in the comments and, uh, and say, I'm committed. Yes, all that. I'm going to take a big sip of water. And this is not boiling water. This is, uh, this is just regular water. I've shut the stove off. Awesome, committed, yes. I love your people, Tanya. They're so engaged. And I like having this conversation because I really want, I'm really committed to helping you as, a, as an audience shift the way you think. Okay, if I can help you shift the way you think, you can see a new business for yourself. And you gotta see it before you can make it happen. Cool. So when I get out there and I talk to people, this is what I hear. And these are the problems I believe we're gonna solve tonight. I hear people say, I don't know enough, right? I'm still new, who would listen to me? I call it, I don't know enough syndrome. I'm not techie, or I don't know the internet. Can anyone relate to that? Not, not knowing the tech side of things. Now, there are some people out there that say, I followed instructions, I create content, I build social media followings, but my marketing isn't working. Justice, I'm doing what I'm told, but my, market is not, my marketing is not working. I'm confused and overwhelmed by all the conflicting information out there. Anybody hear one thing on one end and then find another thing on another end and go, what, what the heck am I supposed to do? Which way am I supposed to turn? How about the way I'm building my business feels like a grind? Can it, give me like a number, one to five. Do you relate to one of these, two of these, three of these, five of these? Let me understand, I mean, typically my audience, this is what I hear from them. Uh, I'm guessing, I'm guessing that you guys probably face some of the same stuff. Okay, so I'm seeing a lot of fives. I'm seeing fours, fives. All right, so, so we are in the right place here. I relate to all of them. Well, we're gonna solve them, and we're gonna do it in three simple steps, and here they are. 
One, I'm going to teach you to get attention from your perfect prospect, the right people. And you're going to be able to get their attention, not chase their attention, but actually get it, actually receive it, actually have it come to you. Two, I'm going to teach you to develop influence with those prospects. And step three is I'm going to teach you how to move them through a zero resistance enrollment process. I'm talking no rejection, no resistance, not tons of objections, people that actually want to work with you. Now, in order to do that, I want you to understand that attention in today's world is a currency. We spend it and we receive it. I want you to think about in the social media world, in the digital world, we are either spending attention or we're receiving it. And a lot of people in our space jump on lives and webinars and Zooms and all that great stuff. And as you should, I mean, you're here right now investing time and energy in learning and growing. And that's fantastic. You should invest in yourself. You should invest time. You should invest money. You should invest attention. But you also need to turn around and gain attention. There is no way if you are attention negative that you can grow a business. In other words, if you are feeding the marketplace more attention than you are gaining from the marketplace, then you are in a position where you cannot from there grow a business. Now that's okay. We just need to shift it the other way around. We need to teach you how to take the time you spend learning and growing and turn it around and use that time spent to gain attention. Cool, anybody, anybody go, wait a second, maybe I'm attention negative here, right? Like I've gotta, you know, I've gotta turn something around. Well, the first step to doing that is to figure out who you actually want attention from. See, there's a little bit of a myth out there that you might have heard, and that's people saying, hey, this is a game of sorting, not of selling. You wanna to talk to everyone. Hey, just go out there and talk to everyone. And some will, some won't, and that's all good. It's all good if you're out there in public and you're, and you're, and you're chatting it up and, you wanna, and you're employing the three-foot rule. But in the internet world, it does not work like that. Online, people can ignore you. See, if you go up and talk to a stranger offline, then uh, they're going to they're gonna have a conversation. They'll likely have a conversation with you. They'll likely entertain you for a moment. But if you uh, send a message online or post something online, people will just ignore it. I mean, we've posted stuff that, that we know our friends see and they don't like and comment on it. We've sent messages that people don't return. Online, people can ignore you. So what do you want to do? Well, first things first, I want you to ask yourself, if you had to go out there and sell a medium rare steak, or some would say rare, I'll call that rare, a rare steak, would you do it at a pita rally? Would you go out there and would you say, hey, over here, check this out, steak for sale, right? Anybody want to talk about steak where people are holding up signs that say meat is murder? Is this the best use of your time? Now I'm going to ask you something on here and that is how many of you, and I'd love to see an answer down in the comments, how many of you are busier today than you were just two or three or four years ago? Anyone today busier than you were two, three, four years ago? Go on down in the Q&A and let me see, let me see how many people feel busier today, right? I see yes, yes, totally, uh-huh, yes, oh my God, yes, totally, super busier. It's amazing, right? The world is getting busier and busier and busier. We're, we're getting busier as people. And so when you think about that, why not? Why, you have a responsibility to yourself to be efficient with your time. You also have a responsibility to prospects, right? Don't. We don't need to, it's a mutual thing. There's no need to go out there and waste your time and waste the time of other people. Let's get talking to the right people. And to do that, you're gonna ask yourself, who's my perfect prospect? And here's how you're gonna, here's the questions. Who's the perfect person for my product, service, or opportunity? Pretty straightforward question, right? Who would likely buy with the least amount of resistance? Imagine that, imagine a world where people actually wanted what you had, where there was no convincing, where there was no persuading where you were just talking to people who already were predisposed. Who would you most enjoy to do business with? I mean, if you're gonna be out there winning the vacations, if you're gonna be hanging you know, with, with your business partners, if you're gonna be out there building a team or whatever you're doing, if you're gonna be coaching clients, whatever it is, who would you most enjoy it, it be with? And then you're gonna take out a piece of paper and you're gonna write down everything you know about them. I want you to imagine the perfect prospect, a hypothetical person, sit down across the kitchen table from them hypothetically. I want you to write down what their biggest problems are, what their biggest pains are, what their biggest dreams are, what their biggest desires are. 
what they're dealing with in their life, what keeps them up at night, who's this person, and what are they going through? Can you guys commit, can everybody on here commit to going through that exercise after this webinar, right? Whenever you have, whenever you have time, whenever you can sit down for a half hour, whenever you can part of, you know, set a little time aside, I mean, would it be worth it to talk to people that actually want what you have to not waste any more time? Um, can you go down in the comments, guys? Commit so I know that we're so that I know that we are past this step of your process. Cool. People say I'll do it. Well, what this might look like for you, what this might look like is, hey, I want. I've decided that my perfect prospect are moms who want to live a healthy life, and I've got a specific mom in in, in mind. And I'm going to go out there and I'm going to inspire moms to live a healthy life. That's what I'm going to do. It's no more going to everybody. It's no more this thing, that thing. It's no more selling the steak to the vegetarian. It's I'm going to go out there and I'm going to inspire moms to live a healthy life. Now, and that's just one example that we're going to use, but you can find any example in your world. There's two steps once you've done that, once you've chosen that to getting attention. One, you want to grow your target audience. And then you want to deploy attention-worthy communication. We'll talk about that shortly. But I mean, to grow your target audience, where are you going to do it? Well, it's so easy to grow an audience on social media today. Everybody's face down on their phone. All you got to do is focus on one, max two, until you've mastered growing an audience and getting attention through a platform. Now, here's where I told you, where top producers, they manage to get hyper-focused and produce bigger results with less time and effort. And it's because when they put their mind to something, they get focused on something and they do it until they've got it right. And they don't try and do 9,000 things. They don't spread themselves thin. So what I'm going to encourage you to do right now is pick one, maybe two, social media sites that you are going to totally focus growing that audience on. So go on down. Look at these pictures. Now, there's Snapchat and LinkedIn and a few others. But I think these are the biggies right here. Go on down in the comments and just let me know if you've chosen. Let me know if you've got that part out of the way, right? I've chosen. Okay, Justice, I'm going to sit down. I'm going to choose my perfect prospect. Now I've chosen my social media platform. I got it. And you, and listen, you can choose, you can change your mind. There's no choosing wrong. You can't break anything, but making these decisions will help you get clear on how to move forward in your business. Once you choose that platform, you really want to focus on learning that platform because you know, communication on a specific platform is native to that platform. Great. You guys have chosen. Well, you know, if let's say hypothetically you chose Facebook, well, now, if you know that your perfect prospect is our moms that want to, you know, uh, that, that live a healthy life, then there are pages and there's groups and there's arenas where, where those, that target audience huddles. When, on Twitter, there's hashtags and people that you can follow and keywords you can search to connect with people that fall into that category. So now you can start to connect with and grab the attention of potentially the perfect person. Okay, so what does that look like? Well, maybe it looks like, hey, I've decided to inspire moms to live a healthy life, and I'm going to grow my audience on my Facebook profile. No right answer, but this is just a hypothetical. Well, what I want you to understand is that this is a piece of the puzzle that almost everyone has going or can get going quickly. You probably on here already have, you know, a social media uh, following. You're probably looking to grow it. But increasing your audience is only potential attention. What we've got to do is we need to take that potential and turn it into real attention that ultimately sales, right? And to do that, we have to understand people. And this is where I want to share with you the magic behind the magic behind the magic. You see, there's a book out there called Influence by Robert Caldini. And what he does in there is he shares these six fundamental influence triggers that are behind why all of us humans take action that are the biggest movers of people, not you, not me, not some people, all people. And I'm gonna share with you what they are. And then once you see what a marketing plan looks like that has, in, has this in place, the light bulbs are just gonna start firing off. Now the first one is reciprocity. We as people, we inherently wanna return favors. Very simple concept, commitment and consistency. We strive to do, say, in, we, try, we strive to, we strive to do, uh, and think what we profess to do and think. I mean, you can see this just about anywhere. If you look at, say, politics, for instance, once someone makes a decision and they have a viewpoint, they dig their heels in. They, they stay consistent with that viewpoint. It's very hard to sway people. Social proof. We look to our peers for deciding what's acceptable. How many of you have ever looked at other people and said, hey, you know, I need some new clothes. I need some new this. I need some new that. 
I, let me see what I like. I mean, what are my friends wearing? What are other people doing? Authority, if not our peers, then we turn to those in charge, a big one. Liking, we're easily persuaded by those we feel good about, and scarcity, we desire that which is rare. Notice that none of these are material. None of these are people really want to lose weight and look good, or none of these are people really want to make money. People would love an opportunity. They want time freedom or financial freedom or this. These are all deeper emotional triggers. And this is a powerful concept to understand. You're going to see in just a moment. Now, in order for you and your product, service, or opportunity to become absolutely irresistible, I mean lay down sales, you want to hit at least each of these each of these at least once in our marketing with a single prospect. Now, one of the big ones is authority. And very little online works without it. It is ingrained in us from a very young age that we should, um, we should uh, adhere or listen to authority. And I'll give you an example, I'll put you to the test. If, if you're standing on the sidewalk and I walk up to you and I say, excuse me, ma'am, sir, you know, will you step, step off this sidewalk? You're gonna look at me like I'm crazy. But if the cop walks up to you and says, excuse me, ma'am, sir, I'm going to need you to step off this sidewalk, sidewalk, there's a very good chance you adhere. If I walk up to you and I hand you a handful of pills and I say, take these right away, it's going to help your health, you'll probably call the cop, <laughs> right? But if I'm a doctor and I do that, you listen immediately, often without question. Now, we, very, we always... Um, through our whole life have looked up to the person in the front of the room, the teacher, the person on the other side of the microphone, and we've given them, we've passed authority onto them. Now, what happens online? How many of you have seen posts like, if I could show you how to, you know, achieve this in a week, if I could show you how to make an extra $1,000 a week, just posting in Facebook groups without having to sell anybody, if I could show you how to lose five pounds fast, only doing this, right? Comment yes below. And we see those posts on social media all the time. Anybody ever see those posts? Well, two people with the exact same audiences could go out there and make those exact same posts and get completely different results. You ever wonder why that is? Why people comment on one and not the other? Well, it's because in, for one, there's the presence of authority and for the other, there's not. And so if you're going out there and you're doing things the same way you see them done, but you're not getting the response that other people get, this may be the missing piece of the puzzle, one of. But you can't be a cop online and you can't be a doctor online. I'll tell you what you can do. You can teach. And the fastest way to create authority online is to teach and share in the form of content. And I've got a really, really good news alert. There really aren't many places to publish content. I mean, focus on one to two to start and commit to a scheduled plan that your audience can rely on. Tanya's a perfect example of this, right? She puts her, her Monday episodes out. She does her live, I forget what day her live is, but she's committed to you guys and you can rely on her. Now, I mean, if we look at it, it's like it's a no-brainer, there's nothing here to choose from. We've got Facebook, we could do live or video on Facebook. We, could have, we have YouTube, we have WordPress blog. Can you choose one of these to start? Can everybody choose one of these to start? Go down and say chosen or yes down in the comments if you make your choice. And again, you, you know, you, you listen, this is not etched in stone, we're not gonna hold you to it, but I want you to, Understand what it's like to put a clear marketing plan together. Done, yes, yes, awesome, chosen. Now, can you, in, in your head, can you commit to at least one time a week getting out there and sharing content? Now, some of you might still feel a little off about content. We're gonna fix that in a moment. But just humor me, humor me, and, and say, yeah, you know what, Justice, if I knew how to create content, if I was comfortable creating content for some of you who maybe are not, and that's okay, um, then yes, I could, do, I could do once a week. Well. Here's a big myth that's going to that's gonna hold some people back, and we're going to get rid of it right here today. I'm going to set you free. How many of you ever feel like, I don't know enough to create valuable content that people would want to consume? Listen, Justice, I get it. I get that people create content, but you don't understand. Little old me over here, I just don't know enough. I don't have results. Um, I, I don't know. I'm brand new. Um, I've never done content before. I've never taught anybody anything before. I don't know what to share. Would you just be totally, it's just, I'm just not ready. I mean, when, I, when I'm ready, I'll do it. Anybody have those kind of thoughts going through their heads? I mean, let's have, let's some honesty here. I won't call you out by name, but I just want to know if, if you can relate to that just a little bit when it comes to the idea of getting out there and actually being the person on the other side of the camera, on the other side of the microphone. Cool. I see tons of people saying yes. I see a couple people saying not anymore, which is awesome. Kudos to those of you who have gotten over that hump. Um, I see yes. Yup. Okay. 
So, so can we, can we, um, can I help you get rid of that? That idea. Can, can we lift, can I help you lift that discomfort so that you feel free and you can go out there and make things happen? I'm going to ask you a question. How many of you have ever gone to a party or had people over the house, or maybe you had to send your kid to school for, with cupcakes and you had to cook something and you opened up your iPad and you pulled up a recipe, or maybe you opened a cookbook and you pulled up a recipe and you started cooking, right? And maybe you do it all the time. Maybe you entertain all the time, but you know, have you done it before? For maybe you cook for a spouse, maybe you cook for guests, maybe you cook for a significant other, maybe you brought something to a party. How many of you have ever done that? Um, give me a me down in the comments if we've got anybody on here who's ever followed a recipe and cooked a dish, right? Beth says me, Deb says me, James says no. James, me and you, man, me and you, don't worry, I'm with you. You know, uh, it took uh, very rarely, but I do. Every once in a while, I see me, I always do, me, yes, yup. Okay, now I'm gonna ask you a very important question. How many of you that do this are graduates of the Culinary Institute of America? How many of you are certified chefs? Or you know what, I'm gonna even broaden that. How many of you are either certified chefs or you've worked five to 10 years in a professional kitchen? I wanna know who. I see LOL, no, right? So Beth says, no, not me. Um, nope, no, not me, <laughs> not me, no, no. Okay, so when you go to this party and you give someone the appetizer that you cooked off a recipe and somebody puts a fork into it and they go to eat it, do you knock the fork out of their hand? Do you say, wait, 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 no, you don't understand. You don't get it, it's just little old me over here. I'm not a chef, I gotta tell you something, I gotta be fair, it's only ethical if I tell you, I'm not a chef, I cooked that, I took the recipe off, off, um, off the iPad, it almost feels like stealing. I don't know what I was thinking. Don't eat that, you can't eat that. Would you behave like that? Right? Is that not ridiculous? <laughs> no, I mean, I'm gonna take it one further. If they asked you for the recipe, you'd give it to them. You'd absolutely give it to them. It's okay. So why, why over here, when, when it's nothing more then putting together our own little recipe, our own little spice, a sprinkle of this, a sprinkle of that, into something that someone else already taught us, why do we behave the way we behave? Do you guys see how illogical that is? Can everybody make a commitment right now to take an approach where, hey, I'm just kind of putting a recipe together here, and I'm sharing it with people because it's a value to them. I'm going to make their life a little easier. Can we let go? Can everybody let go and release the idea? that you don't know enough to create valuable content. Have we, have we, have we set you free of that just by showing you the, the lunacy of, of, of how we behave when it comes to this versus other things in our life? I said, LOL, I'm letting go, I can do that, yes. Come on, I know there's more, don't hang on that tight, right? <laughs> cool, 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 tons, okay, awesome. You're opening my eyes, wonderful. So step two is the irresistible influence multiplier. We, we, we now understand, I've lifted your, 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 the restraints and you can go out there and create content. You understand who your audience is, right? Now, this is how you gain influence. One, you find your attractive, likable voice, you create problem-solving content, and then you get out there and you engage in prospect-first communication. Because it's about them, not about us. So there's four voices that us marketers talk about, but, and you really don't have to get too deep into this, but I just want you to understand that there's kind of a sweet spot for all of us and a, way, and a way in which we find our voice and make a deep connection with the marketplace. There are people out there who might come out as the leader and that's the person that always has the answer and they're out there, you know, confident in charge, follow me. Then we've got the adventure crusaders. Some people just like, like to, are spontaneous. They like to go on the adventure. It's like, hey, I'm trying this new thing. Hey, I'm trying, to, I'm trying a new diet plan or I'm trying a new social media plan or I'm trying this or I'm trying that and I wanna bring you along on the ride with me. And others, and this is where a lot of beginners start out, are the reporter or evangelist. That's like cooking the recipe. It's, it's not even mine. It's, hey, I, I, just, I was just on this webinar with uh, Tanya and Justice, and man, I learned some amazing, amazing stuff. If you're out to grow a business, here's some things that might help you. The reluctant hero. Maybe you have some things in your life that you know because of experience that could really help people, and you never thought about being the person that goes out and shares that stuff, but hey, you have it, you could be of value to them. So let's use an example, if we know our perfect prospect is, is you know, helping moms get healthy, 
and we've, we've sat down and maybe we've mapped out all their problems. And some of their problems look like I don't have time to exercise. I lack motivation. I can't stay consistent. I'm always getting cravings. It's too expensive to cook healthy, right? And now what we're going to do is we're going to take always getting cravings as an example. We're going to use that as an example. Now there's different types of content out there. You could do expert tips and tricks, lessons from a personal experience, book summary content. You could do an interview. Like, there's so many different ways to create content. But what the key is, if we want to get people's attention, we have to communicate in a way that's prospect first, that has their pains, problems, dreams, and desires in mind. And here's two huge tips. And then we're going to use some fill in the blank headlines so I can show you how easy it is. One is people value time, money, and ease. All of us, we value time, money, and ease. And two is people move towards pleasure and away from pain. So you see these fill in the blank headlines, why you should never blank until you've learned how to blank, want blank fast, here's blank steps to make it happen, how a blank managed to blank and just blank. Now I'm gonna show you an example of what content around cravings might look like. So maybe the leader, a leadership voice would get out there and say, hey, why you shouldn't spend a minute exercising until you've learned my secret to curbing cravings? Well, that's expert tips and tricks. Now this is a leadership voice, but when someone who has cravings and is thinking about exercising, sees this, does it not grab their attention? Your perfect prospect? The adventure crusader, someone who's in motion on something, want to curb cravings fast, here's five Dr. Oz approved steps I'm using to make it happen. Not I used, I'm using, I'm trying them right now, come on for the journey, right? Maybe that's a book summary. Maybe it's a steps to achievement. The reporter, how this mom of two managed to eliminate cravings in just three simple steps. Maybe you're reflecting on a conversation or you're doing an interview with someone. How many of you know someone who has a result with your product, service, or opportunity? Go on down in the comments. Let me know if you actually know someone who has a result with your product, service, or opportunity. Let's see. Better be, I would think, I would think it would be everyone. I don't think anybody joins something or buys something if they don't know someone, right, that has results. If they didn't see someone with results. I see absolutely. One says me. Yes. Yes. Cool. Well, you could tell their story from a distance as a case study. You could reflect on a conversation you've had with them. You could do an interview with them and you could say, Hey, here's how this person managed to do this in just this and that it, and speak in the language that speaks to your perfect prospect and you will grab their attention. The reluctant hero want to conquer cravings fast. Here's a few weird tricks that worked for me. Personal experience, right? Something that's worked for me in the past. So now what this might look like for you is, Hey, I've decided to inspire moms to live a healthy life. I'm going to grow my audience on my Facebook profile, and I'm going to do lives twice a week solving their problem. What have we done? Well, we've really started to knock down, to, to get this checklist knocked out. When we start to give content, when we give, we, we put reciprocity into play. We've got authority in play. We're out on social media. We already have liking in play. Now, if you you do an interview with someone, you might even have a little social proof. If you show up each and every week, you're showing up consistently, which is valued by our society. Now, we want to enroll people, right? We want to do it with no resistance. So the first thing you've got to do is identify interest, expose your business, and then follow up in an irresistible way. There's, there's really only a handful of ways. This is why we're going to make it so simple. There's a handful of ways to expose your business online. You could do a webinar, a sales video, or you could reach out to a consult call or a Zoom. I want everybody to choose one right now. And again, you can't choose wrong, but go on down and choose one, right? Make the choice so we can put, so you can put your plan together. Tell me when you've chosen, right? Tell me when you've chosen which one it is. What do we got? Okay, I see some Zooms, Zoom. Maybe your company's got a great sales video. If they do, that's the way I would go. I wouldn't craft your own presentation if you're new, right? I would, I would use, I would use, uh, I would use a, a company presentation if it's good. Video, okay, cool, video, everybody's chosen, wonderful. Well, what we need to do next is we wanna grab the interest of our best prospects. We want our best prospects to step forward. And that's, that's where we're gonna em, uh, employ an interest identifier. It's a valuable gift or exclusive invite that solves a major problem your prospect has or makes their life way better or easier in the realm of what makes them your perfect prospect. In other words, if we've got somebody that's suffering from cravings and wants to get healthy, then this is gonna be a valuable gift or exclusive invite that solves their problems in that realm. Are we on the same page? Now the best way to do that is either through a, a giveaway, right? A PDF, a video, an audio that's a problem solving giveaway, or um, somebody just turned me on to this and it's working so well, is you could do a little five day Facebook group. 
and bring people into a controlled environment. Get them to raise their hand and say, yes, I won in the group. Now, some of you might have that voice coming back up. How many of you just went, justice, content's one thing, but a giveaway, no way, I, 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 that'd make me an imposter. I just, just can't do it. I'm gonna, need, I'm gonna need some results. I'm gonna need something to make me feel more comfortable getting out there and doing that. Anybody, where are the honest people in the group? Come on down in the comments. Now I'm gonna help you shift, right? I'm gonna help you see it differently. Me, yes, okay, cool. This is a student of mine, 10 life-saving apps for the busy mommypreneur. 10 life-saving apps for the busy mommypreneur. Now, if you were to put a list of apps together, could you put a list of apps together without being an imposter? Could you do that? Could you take the time to put a list together without being an imposter if it was a list of apps? I bet you you could. 80 to 100 leads a week, right out of the gate. She said, I've been online for months, had gotten little to no results. After Justice's guidance, I was generating 80 to 100 leads a week. Seven energy-packed green smoothie recipes that taste great and won't cost a fortune. Do you have to grow the vegetables to put a giveaway like this together? Do you have to be a professional nutritionist? Could you put together recipes without being an imposter? I see absolutely. I do giveaways all the time. Excellent. That's me. Yes. 170 leads a week on that giveaway. Said I had a fan page for two years, never generating any leads with it. I was getting 170 leads a week. So now this might look like this. I'm gonna inspire moms to live a healthy life. I'm gonna grow my audience on Facebook. I'm gonna do lives twice a week solving the problems. And then I'm gonna direct them to my Healthy Moms Survival Guide. Look familiar, right? If you're, on, if you're in Tanya's crew, you might have a survival guide of hers. Irresistible five-step follow-up. So someone grabs that guide from you, what do you do? Well, I don't care if it's a conversation, I don't care if you're in Messenger, or if you wanna get a little more techie and a little more automated and follow up an email, or you wanna do a five-part uh, you know, uh, Facebook challenge, it's going to be the same, practically the same every time. It's five steps, big problem, big promise, social proof, engage, and then there's scarcity and urgency. Why don't you think about how a conversation goes? Hey, you've got that big problem, I totally get it. I understand what that problem's like. Man, it must, what do you dislike most about it? It must really stink. Well, I'll tell you what, I may have a way, big promise, to solve the problem. In fact, I'm gonna show you some other people that had your problem, your pain, your problem, now they have your dream or desire. If you have any questions or I can help in any way, I want you to let me know. Have you looked at the information yet? Well, you haven't, okay, here's the deal. I mean, I'm sure you looked at it because you wanted to solve this problem but my time is, is valuable and you know, obviously I'm running a business here and I wanna spend my time with the people that are most interested, right? So if you know, we can either set up a time to, to talk it over or I can just you know, go out there and, 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 and uh, connect with the people that are waiting for me to connect with them that, that, are, that are ready now. Cool either way. Do you guys see that, right? There's a little posture at the end, my time is scarce. Now if you wanna automate it, it might look like this. Someone grabs that giveaway from you, and first email comes out and tells them all about their big problem. It, 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 um, it revisits their problem with them. And it says, hey, tomorrow, I'm gonna show you how I had that problem or this person had that problem and we turned it all around. Life can be better, big promise. Hey, I know you feel like this, but guess what? You can have this. I know you have your problem, but guess what? You can't have your dream or desire. Tomorrow, I'm gonna introduce you to some people that felt just like you. And now they feel a whole bunch better. And I'm gonna show you the thing that made it happen. The training, the shake, the supplement, the, the anything, the travel member, it doesn't matter, right? The thing that made their problem become what they wanted. So next day comes out and it's like, hey, meet Matt and Susie and Steven and Sarah. Here's what happened for them and we wanna show you how it can happen for you. All you have to do is schedule a Zoom. Watch this video and then reach out fill out this application, whatever it is. Then you go, hey, listen, I'm a real person, sent you some stuff the other day, just wanted to make sure you got to look at it. Just, just know you can reach out to me, uh, reply, you know, respond, I'm here, I'll get back to you ASAP personally. And then lastly, you say, hey, I know I sent you that thing, notice you haven't taken action yet, totally cool, thought you wanted to take this problem and turn it into this, but you know, if you don't, that's awesome. But just so you know, my calendar fills up fast. My time is limited. I definitely want to spend time with people that are really serious about change right now. I thought, you know, for most people, getting healthy is urgent. For most people, getting healthy is important. Cool, cool either way. 
but I just want you to know this might be the last communication I send you about it. Now what have we done? We've nailed reciprocity a million times. We've given them the thing, we've created the content, we had the interest identifier. We've, got, we've, we've gotten them to make a small commitment by grabbing the interest identifier from us. When someone makes that commitment and says, yeah, I want recipes, yeah, I want this, yeah, I want this better in my life. Well, now they've made that step forward, so they're likely to continue down that path. We've loaded them with social proof. We showed them stories. Maybe we even did an interview for someone of someone who got results. We've built tons of authority by giving them the, 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 the giveaway or putting them in the challenge or creating the content. We've been likable because we're out there on social media sharing us, our, our voice. And then we've put some posture up and created some sort of boundary that says, hey, oops, you know, th this is my time's, my time's important, or maybe there's a limit to how many you have, or maybe there is a deadline to a promotion, but we've drawn a line somewhere. Now it might look like this. You decide to inspire moms to live a healthy life. You grow your audience on your Facebook profile. You do lives twice a week solving their problem. You direct them to the Healthy Mom Survival Guide. Maybe you start a conversation and have this kind of conversation with them in Facebook. Or maybe you use more automated follow-up, but it has all five components to it. They apply to set up a Zoom call, right? And then you do it over and over and over and over again. The result is people texting you, people buying, people filling out applications. And the reason is, is because the biggest question we asked, why would busy, why would professionals all of a sudden start buying from and joining a broke waiter with no experience, business background, or results? And the answer is because it was never about the waiter. It was always about the basic human needs of the prospect. And once it was in place, once that was in place, I didn't matter in the equation, right? Me, the waiter, it wasn't, I, I was out of the equation. What you do for a living, what you think you know or don't know, what you think your limitations are. When, when all of the basic human needs are met to make a decision, you are no longer part of the equation. Is that not powerful? Is that not freeing? Does that not uh, give you new insight and lift some of that you know, burden off of you? For Pedro, it meant 15 leads a day, nine signups in 30 days, 3,500 in, in, in his first affiliate contest. For Arik Freeman, it meant he launched his first product and hit his income goals. For, for Antonio, it meant he sponsored 100 people and he said, hey, I was getting leads, Justice, but something was missing, right? There was a breakdown. Something was missing. Yes, if you don't have all of these in place, something is missing. Angie got up to 40 leads a day, had her first $5,000 week. Now, I'm curious. Do you see how if you put this formula in place, you will literally tilt the laws of nature in your favor and create predictable sales and signups? Go on down. Let me know if you see why this works so well and why it literally takes behavioral science and puts it to use in your marketing. I see yes. James says yes. Jane says absolutely. Chris says yes. Uh, yeah, Jane says yes. That's amazing. Janice says, absolutely. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I see yes, totally. Now I'm curious, have you gotten value so far this evening? I mean, has this, has, has this opened your mind? Have you found this a valuable experience up until now, right? What? Oh yes, yeah, let's see, yes. You guys have gotten value up until now. I mean, this has been a valuable experience for you. Can't wait to do it. That's what I'm talking about. I love the action takers. Tanya, you got some action takers. I'm on fire right now. I yeah, know. but I need to hear more. Great nuggets. Well, I'm curious, guys. What would it feel? What would it feel like when you start waking up every morning knowing there are high quality prospects already exposed to what you offer, just waiting for you to reach out and close the deal? Tanya knows what it feels like. What would it feel like? to know that with a couple clicks of the mouse, you could create a boost in sales or crush a new promotion. What if you could go on vacation, treat your friends and family to an amazing experience, and come home to a business that's produced results while you're gone? No chasing down prospects, no spending hours prospecting on social media hoping to get replies, no trying to overcome lame objections you know, of time wasters, just a steady stream of high quality prospects coming your way, seeing you as the authority, and getting to know, like, and trust you. Digitally requesting and reviewing information of what you offer, 24-7, 365. Well, I'm not sure why you're here tonight. Maybe you came just on Tanya's recommendation. 
Maybe you're out there just trying to figure out if home business is even right for you. We got some people that are, you know, they're still dipping toe in the water kind of thing. But there are others who know that home business is the vehicle that you're going to achieve your freedom through. There are others who know that you're going to make this happen. You just have felt like something's missing. Maybe you're looking for someone to give you the plan. Maybe you're looking for someone to take you by the hand and show you step by step how to get something like this in place in your business. Well, if you're one of those people, then I want to take a quick minute before we get to questions and introduce you to the Irresistible Enrollment Equation. This is a three-phase, nine-module course, guys, with a series of bonuses that we'll tell you about. And phase one is the social attention equation. We're literally going to walk you through all three steps. And in module one, I'm going to tell you how to choose your spot in the marketplace, how to plant your flag, how to figure out what your positioning and what your brand is going to be. This is where you get to secure your family's future because nobody can take your position in the marketplace away. Nobody can, nobody can decide for you who you're going to be and how you're going to show up in the marketplace. I'm going to show you how to turn your mobile phone literally into a diverse media outlet. And this is the beginning of you getting all the attention you need from the right people. Now in module two, you're going to figure out who your social, your perfect prospect is in the social prospect playbook. Now this is the best because when you figure this, per this out, you start communicating in a way that gets you instant attention. You start communicating in a way that's attractive to people. It starts to become easy for you to say things out in the marketplace that turn heads, get clicks, get views. And I'm going to show you where to, and how to go literally um, how to research them so that in 20 minutes, a half an hour, you'll have everything you need to know to go out there and crush it in your business and work with the perfect people so that you don't have the objections anymore, so that you don't deal with the tire kickers anymore. Now module three, and this is a mega module, because what I've done here is I've put together, guys, I have put together a panel of experts like no others. Module three is all about getting attention. Now I'm not a individual social media expert, so what I did was I went out and I got multiple six and seven figure earners together who were great on specific platforms, and I said, hey, I want you to come here and I want you to teach on what you're great at. Kathy and Jordan Malia, the, the, the uh, MLM boss babes, they've recruited over 600 people personally, 100% online. They were the fastest growing team in their company for five straight years. They spent two hours, counted two hours, teaching you exactly what they do on Facebook. I mean, we're talking posting schedule scripts, everything you could think of. It is like unbelievable. Todd and Leah Getz have a seven figure business. They've built it in under three years. And, they're, and they did it on the back of Twitter. And they're going to show you how they dominated Twitter. Julie Burke built a six-figure network marketing business in just in right around six months starting from scratch while building other multiple six-figure income streams all through her Facebook fan page. She sat down and showed you exactly how she does it. April Marie Tucker became a top producer in her network marketing company through Instagram. So you literally can choose who you, like what platform you want to do and you have the best of the best showing you exactly what you have to do, right? I mean, the boss babes, they showed you how to, how to get Facebook going in 11 hours per week. I mean, Tom and Leah show you how to get your Twitter growing just in the background on automation. It's just amazing stuff. Guys, that is a thousand dollar value. The irresistible enrollment, uh, irresistible influence multiplier, that's phase two. So we start getting into authority. I'm going to help you choose the right content platform for you. I'm going to show you how to use experts and uplines to, to help get some work out there for you and further your business. We're going to dive into the storytelling voices so you find the voice that's right for you and you can make a deep connection with your audience. And I'm going to show you how to reverse engineer what you did in your perfect prospect module so you can get more engagement, clicks, and views. Then we're going to dive into the actual content creation. You're going to get a three-part video outline that'll take even, even if you're a newbie, you'll, you'll be able to jump on video and, and feel effective. I'm going to teach you the call to action that I used to get people moving even when I had no results and it was totally ethical. We're going to share, I'm going to share where you should or shouldn't start depending on where you're at. I'm going to help you choose that platform so you know that you're moving forward successfully without wasting time. Now, module six is another mega module. I brought in more experts. We're going to talk about the exposure machine, and these two are incredibly great at it. We've got John and Nadia Melton. They built a, uh, a seven-figure-per-year network marketing business. Lisa Torres has a multiple six-figure business. They are going to dive into Facebook groups and how you can expose people and create a machine through Facebook groups. Lisa's going to teach you that challenge stuff, how she effortlessly enrolled 31 people in a single weekend using five-day Facebook challenges. John's going to tell you how he's got a team that does $100,000 volume days, and all the exposure happens inside Facebook groups. He's going to show you how. We're going to show you how to eliminate three-way calls. We're going to show you how to use Facebook to drip social proof on your prospects. 
And I'm going to share with you a five minute exposure process that'll get you hundred percent follow up all the time. If you're one of those people doing zoom calls, guys, this is a $797 value. Phase three is a zero resistance enrollment method, right? We've got the ultimate interest identifier. I'm going to show you how to create your first lead magnet. Unbelievable. I'm going to walk you through, even if you're brand new, how to do it, how to make it irresistible. I'm going to give you a fill in the blank headline formula. We're going to walk you through it step by step. You will be out there having your interest identifier out there so that your best prospects can come forward and you can spend your time only with people that are interested. Then module eight, another mega module. You might, recommend, you might recognize a face on here. This is where I want to show everybody how to start getting eyeballs on the traffic in a bigger way so you can expand your business and have perpetual lead flow. And we had Mark Harbour, who's a dominant video marketer, come in and share with you how to give YouTube exactly what they want so you can get the most traffic. So you can create a little army of YouTube videos out there that work around the clock. And Tanya came in and she opened up her Evernote and showed us exactly what she does to come up with great content ideas, exactly how she structures a great blog post, exactly how she schedules her business. And we're talking about a seven figure per year business based on where the cornerstone is the blog. And she lets you in on those secrets. I mean, what she shows you took her from $59,000 to over 400K in just a 12 month period of time, the one shift. So that's a $797 value. Module nine, we're gonna get into zero resistance sales enrollments. This is where I teach you some easy ways to get more eyeballs even on your content. But most importantly, this is my favorite. I share with you my three step launch formula, how you can create a buying frenzy no matter what you sell. And I'm gonna show you how to use a bonus that you'll see in a moment called the Unstoppable Influence Follow Up. I'm gonna show you how to insert that into your business in a way that does 90% of the selling for you. Guys, this course is made up to three phases, the social attention equation, the irresistible influence multiplier, and the zero resistance enrollment method. And the total value is $4,429. Now I'm just gonna ask you, would it be worth $4,429 if you could save months, even years, to finally be set up online the way you want to, so you could confidently market your business? What is time, effort, energy, and confidence worth to you? What if you were able to, if all this did was just predictably generate you five plus leads a day for good, what would that mean to your life and business? What if you woke up to three to five high quality applications or new customers each and every week? What about each and every day? I mean, what would life look like two months, six months, a year down the road? Would it be worth a $4,000 investment? Well, I know the answer is yes, but obviously we're not going to charge you $4,429 if you want to get into the irresistible enrollment equation. It's not going to be half of that at $2,000 or even half of that at $1,000. Guys, it's not going to be $500. This course is going to sell on my website for $497. But right now, we are doing a special launch promotion, and you can get in for as little as three payments of $117, or you can save $54 in full and pay $297. And you go over to TanyaEliza.com forward slash IEE. And you're going to want to get in now because there are some super fast action bonuses. Now, one thing I want to tell you is I've taken all the risk out of this. I want to make this 100% risk-free for you. I want to give you my personal guarantee. The only thing I ask of you is that you go through the whole course. You give me a chance to teach you. And if you're not totally satisfied with the content, if you don't believe it's worth every penny, if you're not getting the results you want from the actions you're taking, then you reach out to support Justice Egan within 30 days and we will give you a refund. I've got some fast action bonuses, and here they are. The first five only, so you're gonna to wanna to get over to tanyaliza.com forward slash IEE right away. First five only who buy will get a 30 minute clarity call with me. All right, you'll be able to jump on the phone with me and review what you've done in modules one and two when you really nail down your perfect prospect, and I'll, and I'll help you steer the ship. Incredibly valuable. The first 20 are gonna get a course that's not released called the Ultimate Sales Presentation. I've got a presentation that I've done over $350,000 in sales with, and I'm going to walk you through step-by-step step how you could create your own, and I'm gonna give you the template in case you ever wanna get out there and start creating a presentation for your team, your people, your business. So go over to tanyaliza.com forward slash IEE. Are these CDs only? No, this is digital, 100% digital. You get immediate access, immediate access. So, you, so you'll get, you know, if you're one of the first five, we'll get you, we'll get you set up there. But, um, you'll get immediate access when you go over to tanyaliza.com forward slash IE. So head over, take full advantage, but there's still more. And I'm going to go through these super fast guys. Cause like I said, I ran a little long. Um, and I want to make sure we get your questions answered, but there are other bonuses. And what I did here was I basically said, justice, how can I fill any and every gap that anybody could run into when they're putting the irresistible enrollment equation in place in their business? And here's how I came up with doing that. Unstoppable influence. I took 
five, the five part communication, the five part email sequence. And I wrote it for you, fill in the blank. You pull things from your target audience and I walk you through it on a video, step by step by step by step. And I'm gonna create another video that shows you how you can transform that right into a five day Facebook challenge if you wanted to. But you'll get the irresistible follow up. Bonus, perpetual content ideas. I give you a list of content ideas so you never run out of content ever again. Bonus number three is irresistible headline cheat sheet. You get to take the content ideas and plug them into the fill in the blank headlines like we did on tonight's presentation. You only get tons more. Bonus number four is a little mini series I did that Tanya's introduced to her people before because we know that copywriting is so important. So I'm gonna teach you how to write influentially so you can start really moving your people into action. Bonus number five is called image creation secrets. You're gonna learn how to get great image work done and without having to pay top notch designers so you can look awesome online. Bonus number six, I created a PDF that walks you through creating a blog if you wanna choose that as your content medium. Bonus number seven, I've put together email archives for you. In case you wanna run a promotion, you can use some of my swipes and use them for inspiration. Bonus number eight is I did a video on ultra effective outsourcing because serious business owners, right? They, 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 get, they get the busy work off their plate. And I'm gonna show you how to communicate properly when you're outsourcing and how to get it for pennies on the dollar. Most people go wrong here, but really this can change your life. Uh, so go down to tanyaliza.com guys forward slash IE. Lastly, you'll get the private Facebook group. This group is public until October 12th and then we are shutting it down, locking it down, making it private so you can get your support. You can engage with people who are on the same journey as you. You can get your questions answered and you can be part of this community. Now, what do we have? We've got the fast action bonuses, guys. We've got unstoppable influence. We've got perpetual content ideas, irresistible headline cheat sheet. All of these, copywriting clinic, image creation secrets, blog creation blueprint, irresistible email archives, ultra effective outsourcing, private Facebook group, total value of $6,946, guys. You're gonna get in here. I'm telling you, I mean, I put together every resource possible to make your life easy. You're gonna get in for three payments of 117 or painful at 297. Go on over to tanyaliza.com forward slash I-E-E. -E. Now, that's where you're gonna go to get the entire course. Remember, it is fully guaranteed. All I ask is that you give me a chance to teach you. You go through the course. It's 100% digital. You will get access immediately when you get in right now. And now what I want to do is I want to bring Tanya out. And we can chat about what you learned. I can answer questions. We can talk about the course. All that good stuff. I'm excited, buddy. So, you guys, I've known that Justice has been working on this program for a little while and I've encouraged him to do so because I know what is in his brain. Okay. <laughs> so when we talk and we just, you know, for lack of better words, shoot the shit together when we're hanging out. And by the way, justice loves Miller lights. He lives in Austin now. So he's kind <laughs> of to like an IPA dude, right? Cause he's gotta be like trendy and cool. So we had some citrus IPAs in Austin, but when we're sitting there just kind of shooting it and he speaks and I listen when it comes to helping me kind of craft messaging in my business. So people take action. And so people really fall in love with the brand and people fall in love with the blog posts and people, you know, get on my email list and people buy from me and ask to join my business. Um, you know, there is some incredible power in his words and his thoughts and his strategies. And I'm so happy justice that you've put this course together because you, when you do things like this and you even did this at my mastermind and I loved it. And almost all of my mastermind students bought your course that you offered there, which was a little bit of a different course than this, but people saw the value in it because you were there training them for hours at the mastermind, they just wanted more of what's inside your head. But one of the things that you do so well, and I know you've done so well inside of this course, is, is you've given people templates. You've given people like scripts and like you've carved the path. And you guys, I've seen the back office of this program. It's super sexy. And the cool thing is, is that you can move through it and stay organized and as you work through the course justice really keeps you accountable like this is i mean you guys let's just face it there's a ton of freaking courses out there that you can buy for your business there's lots of people selling stuff to all of us right but there's not an there's not structure when it comes to accountability when you get these courses most of the time and the biggest 
thing that I get back from my people, even when they buy a course of mine is like, where do I begin? Like, I don't have time. So how do I stay accountable? I have had the course for like a month. Life's gotten in the way, but like, how do I get back into it? Because I really want to get those results I originally purchased this for. Um, the thing with Justice's like new back office for this, you guys, is the accountability is there in a sense where you mark your things as complete and you get badges and recognition in his Facebook group when you're going through the modules and you get help and support inside of his Facebook group as well as you're going through this course. So I've seen the back end of it, guys, and I've hung out with Justice for many, many years. I take his suggestions and his recommendations very seriously when it comes to putting that back in my business. He's given me a plethora of great, amazing, awesome ideas. So for me to introduce him more to my community and, and bring you out justice to my people, um, I just feel really good about that. I know that they're going to be really taken care of when they buy something from you. You're going to treat my people as if they're your people with the utmost respect and you're going to care more for their success than sometimes even you guys might be <laughs> caring about your own success, right? But that's what makes a great trainer and a good mentor. Um, and so I'm just really happy that you put all of this together. You've spent a lot of time and money putting all of this together for people. Um, I'm honored to be able to stamp my name behind it. Guys, I don't do this a lot with a lot of trainers just because there's a lot of people teaching stuff out there, but there's not a lot of people implementing what they teach and actually getting the results before they even try to take your money. And I just don't think that that's ethical. So Thank you, Justice, for coming out. And you guys, um, we've got a, a couple more minutes. I know Justice is on a little bit of a time crunch tonight, um, and I'm about to go play some volleyball. Uh, Look at you. Ba basically, you guys, can you just pray for me? Because I suck at volleyball, but they need another girl because girls are like a hot commodity in the volleyball league world, apparently. <laughs> So um, just say, say a little prayer. Hope that I don't get knocked out. Uh, my sister is literally the volleyball professional. I did not get any of those skills over in this world. Um, okay. okay, I've tried. Uh, yes. Terry says, I've tried to go immediately to get this, and I can't get to it. I think I tried too soon. Um, I don't know. Is anybody else? Somebody, Jane says, I just bought it. So there's people that just make sure you're going Congrats. to. Congrats. Welcome. Pardon me? I was saying congrats to Jane. Yeah. yeah, Jane, you're gonna love it. It's such a sexy back office. Like I'm, I'm so impressed with you, Justice. It's so amazing. I love the energy and time and money that you put into this. Um, and Jane, probably uh, Justice's system will track who was the first five, and then I'm sure you have an email coming out to them. I would assume, right, Justice? Yeah. So what what you'll do is is um we're, we'll have this we'll have it by the end of the night where you uh you'll see a banner if you're the first five you'll see a banner in your back office that says uh you know that there's a um, clarity call you can click to set up and you'll get an email letting you know okay yeah. um we do not have it automated we do apply it manually so you do have to give us a little bit of time uh but but we'll uh we'll we'll get you there. Let's Sherry's see. like, I want to be in the first five. I think Sherry said her computer's frozen. We'll get it unfrozen, Sherry. Smack it up a little bit. <laughs> uh, Savannah, Sherry, if, if, if the link freezes for you and you really have a problem and you, and you can't, and it seems to be the link, just shoot, shoot an email to um, support at justiceegan.com, okay? Yeah, just kick your computer, Sherry. That's typically what I do. <laughs> and then you might have to buy another computer. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, try your best, Sherry. And then also like Sherry, just send uh, the justices support staff an email and say, I'm trying to get the five and my computer's frozen. They might have some leniency there for you. Um, for sure. You are awesome, Jane. Thank you. Welcome. And Savannah, welcome to the program as well. If you guys purchase, let me know. Um, I'm really excited. And here's the thing, like, um, you know, it's all, it is all about how you speak to your audience. Um, there is a reason why over the years of building an email list, I can send out one email making an offer and make over 10000 sometimes $20,000 with one email. It's simply because, and that sounds crazy, I know, like this is the world we live in, but I would suggest 
harnessing and using these skills because they're available to us today. 10 years ago, this was not possible to be able to yeah, unbelievable kind of a lifestyle like this. You know, I just was traveling for two months. I was all over the country and up in Canada, seeing some of the most amazing places. And my income did not go down because of the skill set that I've, requ- I've, I've acquired. A lot of what's taught through, you know, my courses and Justice's courses. And so the opportunity exists at your fingertips. The only question is, is are you going to do something about it? Are you going to take action? Are you going to dedicate some time and some energy? And I'll tell you what, like, um, I went to school for finance, you guys, and I went, I got out of school, I got a job, I did everything that they, they tell you to do. And that plan pretty much sucked for me. I realized what I wanted my dream day to look like. And then I looked at the current plan that I was working. And then I had to ask myself a serious question. And, and the question was, that dream day, is it going to be supported by that that the plan I'm currently on right now, which is my nine to nine shift as a finance specialist I made some good money, but I didn't have any time or, or really any life. And so what I had to do is I had to do a redirect. I had to do an adjustment. And if you're not where you want to be right now, there might be an adjustment that you have to make. This may or may not be it, but you have to make a decision on the adjustment that you need to make and ask yourself, how and where you want to go. Now, the biggest thing that I can say in my many years of being online since 2010 and working my business online, generating leads and building my network marketing and business online and my brand, the one thing that I will say is model success, but be careful who you are modeling. So If you are out there and you're following some leader, make sure it's the right leader. If you're copying some cat, make sure it's the right cat. All right. Find somebody that's living the lifestyle that you want to live and model and follow and do what they say. You don't have to recreate the wheel. It has already been done. And for the first four years in my business online, I thought I could figure out everything on my own. I was super cheap. I didn't invest in courses. I was like, oh, I'll just try to go and YouTube this or Google it. And I struggled for four years. And in 2014, I made a decision to treat my business seriously, invest in my business with time and money. Sometimes you have time or money or vice versa. Sometimes you have both. Sometimes you just have to ante up. And I did Annie up in 2014 and the previous year in 2016, I made $59,000 in my business in 2014 because I decided to take my business seriously and follow the right leader and invest some into my business and take my business seriously. That year I made $434,000 and every year since then my income has doubled since then. So There is definitely something to be said. And now it's not all about money, you guys. It's not. But you need the money. Unfortunately, fortunately, you need the money to be able to live your dream lifestyle in most cases, to have that freedom that you guys are looking for. Um, Justice, this is a super comprehensive course. I'm so happy that you put it together. I'm really excited for everybody that has a chance to go through it. And just so you guys know on the real, I'm going through it. Okay. Justice has, um, put out a couple of really great courses and I have gone through his courses and I send him text messages and I'm like, justice, this one thing that you shared in the course, like this is effing genius. This is awesome. (laughs) And I'm like, I mean, we banter like that. I mean, he's like my, he's like my big brother. Right. So we banter. I'm like, this is awesome. More people need to know about this. And then I go and I implement it in my business. And then I share with him the results on like the Facebook interaction and engagement I'm getting. And he's like, man, you're blowing my mind. This is awesome. So you guys, um, you know, just take that to heart and I hope you see value in this. And if you're here and you've spent some time and this isn't for you, but you got a lot of value out of the training, that's our goal. That's awesome. That's amazing. We wanted to make sure that it was, it was chock full of value and not just a sales pitch to try to sell you guys something that you don't need. Okay. That's just on the real. 
um, can you reach out to Justice and please find him on Facebook and thank him for his time. He's also in my B Lab uh, Facebook group as well. So go in there and tag him and say, Justice, thank you for coming out. Thank you for sharing your golden nuggets, your three secrets and steps with us. Um, we're going to go and implement it. And the biggest reward that, and I'll get off my soapbox here, but the biggest reward that you can give to uh, Justice and even me and more importantly to yourself is to go out there and get a result with what you've learned. You've spent the time here. Don't let that time go to waste. And that's Oh, there's happens. nothing. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing that makes us happier. You know, I had a conversation on, on, a, on a training the other night and someone said, hey, like, you know, like, where, like, is there support? Is there this? Is there that? And I said, man, the people around you, like, we, we want nothing more than to see people go out and take action and succeed. Like, and, you know, people, so we, we are so, we will, we rally, we rally behind people that are willing to go out and take the actions. Yeah. And you can very quickly separate yourself from the pack. And each and every one of you, uh, you have the ability to do that. You're, I mean, you're, 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 you have an incredible leader here in Tanya that you follow. And uh, man, I'm just, I'm just honored to play even a small role in that if, uh, if that's the way it turns out. Yeah, and thank you again, Justice, for your time. Um, um, I've gotten some people ask, uh, asking me about a replay. So if my technology doesn't fail, we are recording, we will get a replay out for you guys for sure. Um, Justice, is there a time limit on when this is closing down, by the way, for them? So uh, this is closing down. I mean, we, they have a little bit of time. I will say this. I just looked in the back office. There are fast action. Um, there are still some ultimate sales presentations left. So you will want to get over there and purchase that for sure. I, I don't put that course. I'm telling you. And if and I mean, probably that is probably one of the uh, coolest parts of, of the bonuses for those that want to geek out. And like those things that Tanya talks about where she says, um, you know, that uh, when, when she says like, hey, you know, there's some things where I just go, oh my God, like, like that totally, like that, I totally geeked out on that. Like you will see some of that in that bonus and you will experience that in that bonus. So I highly recommend people jump over and get in for that. Um, and then this will be closing, the cart will be closing uh, relatively soon. And you, you guys will get, uh, we'll, get you, we'll get to the date on that, uh, Tanya. Perfect, thank you so much. Um, and James? when I got my first sale again yeah I mean James think of it this way too like um for those of you that are you know struggling financially or whatever that's I mean it is what it is um find a way to turn your hustle muscle on I always say it's never a lack of resources it's always the lack of resourcefulness if you wanted to come up with $297 in one day, if you got really resourceful, you can do it. Why do I know that? I have people that join my network marketing team all the time that are super serious to jump in and they do it. Um, so don't wait for like your first sale, unless you go out there and get your first sale tonight, like go out there and turn your hustle muscle on. If you really want this, like just make it happen. Like we're all bosses here, right? Um, Mevlin, thank you so much. I appreciate the kind words. Chris, says Tanya I'm in boom I'm giving you a virtual high five right now um, and you guys will we'll answer more questions um, inside of the B lab there is a post that I did that invited you to this webinar so if you see that post just in that comment thread we'll be managing the comments in there and checking in um, over the next couple of hours and like I said, if my technology doesn't fail me, I will get this recording out for you guys that joined in a little bit later. Justice, is there anything else you'd like to add? That's everything, guys. I so appreciate the time. Uh, appreciate, Tanya, you having me out to share with your people. Um, I, really, I, I really hope that each and every one of you saw opportunity tonight in your business to start you know, start creating leverage and then start really spending your time the way you want to with the right people and spending the rest of the time living your life, which is why we get into this business, right? We don't get into this business to, to, to be uncomfortable and to sell people all the time and to be grinding it out and pursuing people just, just to make a sailor get by. You know, we have these amazing tools at our fingertips. We have the ability to go out there and, and be present in a way that, that builds a tribe, builds a digital warm market that makes what we do fun, enjoyable, and creates real-time freedom. And, and I wanted to show you exactly not just how it works, points, clicks, all that stuff, but why it works so that you can move forward confidently. That's the real goal, so that you can move forward confidently and actually do the stuff because you know why it produces the results. So 
I'm just, I'm just blessed to have spent the time out here, Tanya. I appreciate you so much. Everybody that's on here, thank you so much for taking the time. I hope you got tons of value. Those of you who jumped in, uh, I cannot wait to see you inside the group. And, uh, you know, we're going to rock it. So uh, have a great night. Awesome, you guys. Be blessed. Have a fantastic weekend coming up. And we will see you out on the internet as you know it. All right, guys. Have a wonderful night. Be blessed. This call is a wrap. Thanks, Justice. Appreciate you. Bye now.